I don't know what Marina is in the movie because I don't have the script. I don't know how their relationship is in the movie. I don't have any idea. They don't talk. I don't want to ask them. Nobody tells me, not even the director. So the relationship that I have with Marina, Olga's character of Ben, is what I see and what I hear. So I cannot judge from things that I haven't seen or hear, which is great. I don't have the courage to let her go. I wonder if there are things that he didn't give us on purpose. So, like, I kind of know what's happening, but I'm not sure, you know? Like, I was doing something not knowing exactly where it leads. And maybe it's good, because in life, we don't know where we're going. So it's very real. You made me this way. When, he, when I did first sit down with him, he said, like, I have this technique. He didn't really tell me all about it, but he said, you know, I talk throughout, you know, throughout the takes. It was like my internal voice. Terry was my internal voice. I think this is one area where directing has really helped me because I, I realized that there's no point in waiting till after to, to say it, to tell the notes, because what you're doing is now not going to be in the movie. Whether it feels good to you or not, he doesn't like it, so you might as well get a chance to course correct midstream, then sail all the way to the shore and come back on cut, and he goes like, wrong beach. So this way he's kind of in there with you helping. Terry's more about reacting to what he's seeing on screen, and so it's not about this character needs to be doing this in this scene. It's more about seeing what's there and whether it's, well, what Terry calls it is whether it's honest or not. And if, and if any hint of falsity or, any, or theatricality comes through, then we abandon that. Even if it's more accurate for what the scene is, we'll go in a completely different direction to try to get those honest moments. The initial premise was that the actors would wear their own clothes. It wasn't really Bartlesville. Terry wanted something much more real. We started shopping here and we brought almost nothing from Los Angeles except some uh, vestments for the priests. Let's go up the hill. Go. Oh, quickly! <laughs> quickly, Eric! This is the third film that we've done with Terry and Shiva together and it's thrilling to watch because they have become so in tune with each other. The actors soon learn to move in a way that works with the light. It, it then becomes a, you know, almost like a ballet where the actors will get grounded and understand the context of what they're doing as everything else is, you know, getting to, you know, brought together by the crew. And then seamlessly within minutes, you know, we'll be shooting. And, uh, and at that point really is when the actors will figure out what that scene is. How long have you been preparing clocks? I learned it from my father. He sees human physicality and the natural world and the environment as much if not more important than the words, you know? And he's written all these words and yet he doesn't really, it's not about the words to him. The words are, are a means to an end. You really have to internalize that. He's just trying to catch moments as they come up and you never know when they're gonna come up. Our Father in Heaven, we are grateful to meet with our friends this evening. Terry likes everything backlit and with natural light. So we're always looking for a south or southwest location for the afternoon shooting and a east or southeast location for morning shooting.